Okay, so this is part two. Um, if you watched part one, you know that I tried out some brushes. Um, part one, yep. I tried out the Series 7. Uh, this is the regular one. And also I got to try out this one, which is the miniature. Um, this is number three. It's actually smaller. Um, but anyways. I really like this brush a lot. I like both of them actually, they're both really good. And if you watch the first part, you're probably thinking, oh, he's gonna do, he's gonna do this piece in Sumi ink. Um, because that's what I did, I kinda did like a test. Um, but I got, I don't know, I got like nervous about it, I guess, because of how much this was in this area where I used a lot more water, how much it distorted. And it took a while and it did like go down and now it's fine. But I, I don't know, I'm feeling a little apprehensive about it. So I think I might go in and just use this. Which is the Pentel Pocket Brush. Um, I don't know, I just feel more comfortable with it. And lately I've been feeling more comfortable with it. I don't know. So, But I do want to get back to brushes and I think I'm going to add some at the very end. Um, because I do want a little bit of gray in here. Um, but I don't want to start out with that and then distort the paper and then have it be all bubbly and messed up for a while. So I'm going to go in with this and do all the main blacks and all that stuff and then come in with these brushes, this one or this one, really. And um, just add a little bit, a little bit of finesse, little fine touches. Anyways, um, so, so yeah, this is... Um, this is the Pentel pocket brush, and uh, it's this one is orange. <laughs> and uh, because I am so so dumb, um, I actually ordered this from the UK because that's the only place I could find it. And it didn't actually cost more than like a regular black one. Um, and it's not like it's different in any, any other way except that the outside is orange, which is kind of. I don't know why I have a thing about orange, I guess, or something. Um, but I just got excited. I was like, ooh, a different color. I don't know, it's so so dumb. But when you care about certain things, you know, it's like... Like if you care about guitars, or you care about, like, some sort of... Really anything. And... You can suddenly get it in a color that speaks to you more in some way. It's weird. You'll, like, go for it. Um, also, I turned down the quality of the video, because the previous part one was 20 minutes or something, um, and the file size is 2.6 gigabytes, and that's a 1080, and I was like, what? Who needs that? Why does that need to exist? It's like, I guess you get to see, like, every scar on my hand and every like hair on my knuckles and all this shit I guess that's in what I don't know anyways I don't get it I mean I realize TVs are getting bigger and all this shit and people are very like excited about it and it's cheaper than ever and all that whatever but it still takes up like room like you need more servers to keep all that shit somewhere and it's stupid it's like I'm just making dumb videos about, like, you know. Anyways, um, so, a little background, I guess, for anybody that get cares. This is the actual, um, comic, this is the actual, uh, by Jock, who you may know as, uh, I think he's, I mean, he's a comic book artist, he's been doing lots of covers, he's done some interiors, too. But I usually don't like his interiors very much, although it's better in this, I feel like actually he, he's doing better, but what most people probably know him from is he did uh, concept work for the Dread movie, um, so if you buy the Dread art book, it's Jock, uh, and it's his stuff, and he has a specific, very kind of angular style. Um, anyway, so, yeah, it's Batman Who Laughs, it's issue one. Um, I, I don't really know. I, this was in, there's some new series they did with like chrome covers and stuff, and I don't care. 
I don't buy stuff for that kind of garbage. I don't know. At least not comics anymore. I don't know. I'm too old for that shit. Um, but I'm sure somebody bought it. Bought all five different covers and all that. Anyway, so this is my take, which is the bad man who coughs. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, so, um, let's see how it goes. I haven't really um, inked or drawn things in a while. And I was thinking of doing this live. But just thinking about it gives me like anxiety. And so I um, opted out because I wanted to do at least a decent job. I'm gonna move this back a little bit. It's in my face! Alright. Anyways, um. Hey, who wants to talk about that new Gillette ad? Hey? <laughs> So, something to know about the ink that comes in these, if you get one of them. Um, they claim that it's waterproof. And it mostly is. Um, but not always. Depending on the paper, it sometimes will sit on top for a long time, and then you'll smear it. Uh, I think this paper, it's okay. I'm still going to be careful with it, though. But... Um... Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of, like, in a weird mood right now. Well, I mentioned it on the first video, but... I've literally been, um... Organizing my room... Um, in my studio because it's so it was getting it out of hand like it was chaos I couldn't find anything anymore I didn't take any photos of it because I was too embarrassed to share even like it was like a before after kind of thing like I don't need that shit I don't need you to know how terrible I am sometimes but let's just say it had like I haven't cleaned my room in like years um, since baby. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know, but it was it was a problem. Like it was giving me anxiety just being in here. Um, so I knew that the first thing I have to do this year was try to, you know, not that I have resolutions or anything like that, but I, my one resolution was to have a space that I actually want to be in. Yeah, I haven't been uh, inking or drawing because of that, kind of, because I've been just moving stuff around and trying to Tetris the whole fucking place. I've thrown away a lot of stuff too, but, you know, I'm not, uh, what's her face, Mary Kondo or whatever. Um, that kind of shit doesn't work for me. I get, I get what she's doing with her, if it sparks joy, keep it. Um, but most of my tools, most of the things don't spark joy, they're just things that are tools that are necessary for me and, and they may not have a use at this moment. So I could throw them away, I could give them away, but then later I have to buy them again. Because at some point I'm going to be like, oh, maybe I need this. Like I have a whole box full of clay, um, like oil clay for like sculpting and, um, I don't have a specific project for it right now. I have vague ideas of what I want to do, uh, what it's for, but right now I don't. I need to be like, I need to think about it more. It takes, you know, years sometimes for me. I'm not gonna get rid of it because, you know, it takes up space. It's like, 
And if I did that, I'd have to get rid of people. It's like, you know, there's a lot of people that don't spark joy when I see them. But, you know, I don't fucking, you know, let them do what the fuck they want. They can live or whatever. Anyways, that sounded brutal. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not actually angry at anybody. But, um, but yeah, I, I mean, this is just another fad. You know, the book, her book did well, I guess, and so people got excited, and she has a show on Netflix now, and all this other, so, it's fine. Um, it's just not for me. I just don't care. And I don't think about stuff in that way. Um, I'm a big fan of not having stuff, but I also can't function that way because I do things. I don't just, you know, what is her like? She, I think she said something along the lines of like, oh, you should only have 30 books or something. It's like, fuck you. Anyways, <laughs> not actually angry at her. She's doing her thing. It's working for her. It's great. And lots of people, you know, it's like a fad diet. Think of it that way. That's what it is. It's a fad diet for your house. It doesn't actually mean anything, you know. And if you actually, you know, the five people that can keep that shit up, it's great. Everyone else is going to go back to buying fucking Gillette razors any day now. I guess I should be buying mine right now. Yeah, bro. Hmm, this one's getting a little bit, a little runny. A little too much ink there. What's that about, hmm? What's that about, Mystera brush, hmm? Alright. It does get like, a nice tip right now. It has a nice sharp point, which is really nice. I like it, but it is a little too flowy. Um, I don't know what to really do about that. Um, with a real brush, you can adjust the water and all that stuff, but with this, it's like, it's like, ooh. Hopefully it doesn't at some point just fucking dump ink all over the piece. Um, It's weird how distracted I can get with the camera on me. I just keep like thinking, what's the camera see? Can it see me? Am I in the frame? What's going on? Do I need to adjust something? It's one of the problems with being like ever inclusive and sharing every fucking thing you do. It's like, would you like to see my every fart? I mean art? Sorry, I meant, I meant art. Ideally, if I get my hand going, I can speed up and just throw more confidently, but I don't know if I'll get there today. I haven't, even, I haven't talked about this yet to any anybody, really. Um, I'm going to try to put more of my shit online, my, like, original art. Just put it in my store and just see if anybody wants it. I don't know, because it sits in a box in my house, and I'm like, you know, it's like a lot of it is like one-off weird, stu weird stuff that nobody, it's not part of anything, it's just, I don't know, so we'll see how that goes, I don't 
don't know. Maybe nobody wants it there either. It's fine. I'm kind of used to that. It's another song by Toby Driver. Quite like Mr. Toby Driver. It's quite nice. Yeah. He has a. F At least the one time I saw him, he had a fancy bass that had all these um, in between. Uh, like he had custom frets on it, um, so it split notes differently than like. bass or whatever, which is interesting, and so he can get all kinds of microtonal things going on, which is kind of fun.